வணக்கம் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் டு ஆல் இந்தியன் ஃபாரஸ்ட் சர்வீஸ் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் எ வாம் அண்ட் ஹார்ட்டி வெல்கம் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் சில்வா ஏ லேடர் டு ரீச் கேனவி ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் கம்ப்ளீட்டிங் த டூ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் சாப்டர்ஸ் இன் த பேப்பர் டூ ஆஃப் செக்ஷன் ஏ தட் இஸ் ஃபாரஸ்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ஃபாலோடு பை ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஒர்க்கிங் பிளான் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சீ த ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் சாப்டர் தட் இஸ் forest menstruation and remote sensing friends forest has n number of branches and many branches are interconnected forest menstruation is one such branch which connects with many other branches today we are going to see the forest menstruation with little elaborated details so menstruation in common terms it is a branch of mathematics will be dealing about determination of various dimensions the dimensions are length diameter girth height and volume in forest menstruation this is simple term it is a branch of forestry which deals with the determination of various dimension which includes the tree diameter the tree girth tree height and tree volume sometimes we will be also dealing about the crop crop is nothing but the group of trees so in crop for lens it is called as crop diameter crop girth crop height and crop volume when we talk about the forest menstruation and its significance it has many connection with other branches the important branch that directly connects with the forest menstruation is the forest management when we talk about the forest management the important objective or one of the important objectives of forest management is about the yield and uh, at present the yield means sustainable yield so if you are talking about the yield or sustainable yield it is important to know about the forest menstruation because yield can be very well obtained by using these parameters like diameter girth height and understanding the fundamentals of forest menstruation is the basis of forest management and which help in achieving the various objectives of forest management another important branch that is the forest working plan also directly linked with forest menstruation as we talk about the forest working plan that is the basic document for forest management and the preparation of working plan is incomplete without the knowledge of forest menstruation so similar to forest management and forest working plan this branch is having lot of interconnection with other branches so initially we will be studying about the various methods of measurement by using the instrument and non instruments method by that we will be able to measure the tree or the crop diameter tree girth or crop girth tree height or crop height and tree volume or volume of crop so so this is the basic of forest menstruation and from that we will be proceeding to another components followed by we will be studying about the another important aspect of forest menstruation that is form factor the important future of forest tree is that the tree never attains or never confines to any geometrical shape so most of the time the trees are considered or assumed to the shape of cylinder for easy calculation of volume but many times assuming the tree as a cylindrical will give over estimation so in order to overcome this factor there is a important aspect that is the form factor is commonly utilized in forest menstruation so form so form factor the ratio of the true cylinder to the actual 
shape or the geometry of the tree. So it starts from 0 to 1 and the 1 means the tree is assumed as or the tree is confining to the shape of true cylinder and accordingly the value will be decreasing. So there are different type of form factors are available by which this can be calculated and when this form factor is multiplied by height and diameter you will get the true volume of tree. Followed by form factor the another important thing is about the volume and uh, we will be studying about the volume calculation of individual tree as well as volume estimation of stand. Stand is nothing but the group of tree. When we are talking about the forest management, we will be talking about the larger area. So, here the individual trees are not very significant compared to the crop or the stand volume. So, various methodologies or the formulas are available here in order to find out the volume of the stand or the crop. So, various methods with the different formulas with the various situations are available which will be giving the volume of different types. Followed by form factor and volume estimation of the stand, we will be also studying about the increment. So, increment in general term, we all aware that it is an increase in certain parameter. In forestry or in forest menstruation, the increment means the increase in diameter, height or volume because these three are the important parameters which will be helpful in understanding the productivity of forest area. So under increment there are two important increments we will be studying in detail. One is about the current annual increment and another one is the mean annual increment. So current and annual increment talks about the increment put forth in a particular year and mean annual increment is the increment happened over the period or a given period. So, there is a linkage between these two increment which is the basis of finding out the actual rotation. So, by knowing the relation between this current annual increment that is the CAI and mean annual increment that is MAI, we will be able to define the rotation means the age at which the trees can be harvested because beyond this point there is no actual increment take place in the tree which is considered to be the negative increment. So, in this chapter, the form factor followed with the volume estimation, we will be studying in detail about the current annual increment and mean annual increment along with the relation which is the basis of finding out the. After studying about the measurement of the individual trees or the crop, the crop measurement, then we will be studying about the another significant area or another significant aspect that is the sampling method. So, forest is a very, very large area and doing the 100% estimation or doing the 100% estimation in any given area is not feasible because of the time consumption, expenditure and other challenges. So, in order to overcome and to make the estimation in a given short period of time with the efficient way, the sampling methods or statistical methods are used in a larger way. So, there are different sampling methods are available which are commonly used in the forest menstruation calculation that like uh, stratified sampling and uh, random sampling and uh, multi-stage sampling. So, similar to these sampling methods, there are few more sampling methods are available which depends on the situation. The different types of sampling methods are commonly used in forest menstruation and uh, we will be also studying about the merits and demerits of each and every sampling method according to the situation. And we will be also studying about the, how these sampling methods are generally used in the forestry operation and also different types of sampling methods and its usage in the forest working plan preparation also tell in detail here. After completing the sampling methods, another important aspect that is sample plots. Sample plots are the very a smaller area or the representative area in which the actual enumeration or the estimation is carried out. As I mentioned that the forest area is very huge in size. So in order to complete the enumeration or the estimation, we always go for a 
sample plots which is generally circular or rectangular in shape so different types of sample plots are used in the forestry because these areas are considered as a representative areas for carrying out any kind of estimation or enumeration so here we will be studying about the details of what is sample plot what is the size of sample plot how to lay a sample plot and inside the sample plot how to do the enumeration estimation in detail after sampling method and sample plot we will be studying about the another important aspect that is the yield calculation yield is a very important parameter in forest area which will be giving the true picture of the forest productivity and after the yield calculation with the various methodologies or the various techniques we will be also studying about the yield and stand tables in detail these are the two different tables commonly used in the forest menstruation and will give the complete detail of a given forest area with the thinning true volume etc and for many common species these yield and stand tables are available in the forest area like tea saw so the second important part of this chapter is the remote sensing so as you aware that remote sensing is the important and advanced technology used in the forest area mainly in the forest cover monitoring using the aerial photography or the rim, uh, or the satellites these techniques are used and over the period the aerial photography lost its glory and at present the remote sensing is one important technique which is very well utilized in the forest monitoring using the remote sensing technique the forest survey in india every two year publishes the forest cover monitoring report which will be considered as a uh, important document in the forest monitoring so through this report we will come to know about the changes taking place in the forest area in terms of quality as well as quantity so in this chapter we will be studying in detail about what is remote sensing what are the merits and significance of the remote sensing and how the remote sensing techniques are used in forest cover monitoring as well as other important management significant like the forest fire monitoring wildlife management etc here we will be also studying about the recent technology used in the remote sensing with the various satellite information for better understanding of this chapter so after the remote sensing and it's significant to the forest cover monitoring we will be also studying about the geography information system that is gis so we'll be studying about the uh, scope of gis in everyday forest management as well as the other significant friends i try to give the overview of the important chapter that is forest menstruation and remote sensing and uh, the detailed presentation of each and every content given before will be dealt in the future session and stay tuned thank you very much thanks for watching the video silva a ladder to reach canopy thank you